Okay, so we're looking at number 11 from 10.5. And so number 11 from 10.5 is what we refer to as an oblique cylinder. So it's kind of hard to draw, but we'll do my best here. And so it's a cylinder where it's kind of just been um, uh, tilted on its side. The bases are still parallel to the ground. They'd be horizontal, um, but you've got it. It's kind of moving to the side. Well, it turns out um, that when you're looking at volume of oblique shapes like this, the formula stays the same. Um, you just need to understand that the height is not this length. It's actually the length in between the two bases. So how far apart are the two bases is what your height represents. This is a the, the, the a lateral height that is not the same as the height of the actual cylinder. So in this case, it tells you that that value is six. It gives you that the um, diameter of one of the bases is five. And so it asks you to find um, what is the volume of this? And so it's just going to be, well, the base is pi, the radius is five halves, right? One half of five squared times the height, which is six. And that gets us um, 25 pi times six over four, which is 150 pi over four, which is the same as 37.5 pi. Um, and so the volume of this is 37.5 meters cubed. If you, it, it also said to make sure you write it as a, um, a round of the nearest tenth. And so that would be 117.8. For number 13, you've got what we refer to as a composite figure. Um, so it looks like this, where you've got... the shape that is a rectangular prism um, with a half cylinder on the end. And so you're given that this length is 34, which would be from here to here. You're given that this is 12, and then you're given that the depth of it is 10. So to find the volume of this, what you're going to do is you're first going to find the volume of the rectangular prism, which is just going to be 10 times or the area of the base, which is going to be 10 times 34, times the height, which is 12. And then you're going to add to that the volume of the half cylinder. Well, that just means find the volume of the cylinder and multiply it times 1 half. And the volume of a cylinder is um, pi r squared times the height. And the r is just going to be 6, because this length here is 12. So the r is 6. And so you're going to do 36 pi. 6 squared pi, that's the, and so that gives you the area of the base as if this was a full cylinder. And then you multiply times the height, which is the distance between the two bases. And so if this is one base, the other is over here. So the height is just 10. So you um, can uh, find the volume of the cylinder would just have been 30, 360 pi, but because we're only taking half of it, right? This is just half that cylinder. It's 180 pi. So we type that into our calculator and we come